Hello and what is up ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our first night of doing a paranormal investigation. I am here with Heather. Hi. I'm sorry. It is it is very cold outside. <laughs> it is currently snowing outside. So that's degrees. fun. Yeah, it's like 30 to 30 31 degrees outside. So anyways, we are out here in Erlanger, Kentucky. Um, we are on a uh, road called Narrows Road, um, kind of known around the area. Um, what website was it that you were looking up that Let's had the get information? Ready to grab that information? Creepy Cincinnati. Creepy Cincinnati. <clears throat> Voice crack for days. Creepy Cincinnati is the website that we were on that we found a lot of really cool, uh, just local places and local stories that uh, are known to be haunted or have some sort of like urban legend to them um and like i said we're in erlanger kentucky on uh narrows road all right so narrows road in erlanger is supposedly where there's supposed to be a ghost police officer he um was doing a traffic stop in the 50s it doesn't say what year just says sometime in the 50s got out of his car he pulled somebody over got out of his car and somebody hit him so he died on somewhere on here it doesn't say where it just says somewhere and um yeah he was struck and killed by a passing car um so they say if you drive down the road after midnight or at exactly midnight in some tellings depending on you know, who you talk to um a 1950s style police car will pull you over and either it will disappear before he gets to the car or he will actually come up and talk to you and then when he turns around to go back to the car, he disappears. So that's the legend. Now we've done, I've done minimal research, sorry, on this, but I've watched a couple other videos of people who have investigated or, or talked about it. And even on here, it says that there is no proof that anybody, like any kind of police officer in this area actually was killed on this road. So, but again, you know, that's back in the fifties. Who knows accuracy or if he was even in jurisdiction <laughs> flashlight came on um sorry we bought a brand new flashlight the button's broken so it comes on randomly yep it's not paranormal i promise the, yeah this 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 is not um, paranormal this is the flashlight but being we actually have gone um to the one end like it tiba it the nearest road starts at richardson road is that what it was yeah richardson yeah. road yep. and then comes all the way to this dead end which is now a um i think it's a sanitation department yep excuse me and um so and so it's blocked off we're actually we actually passed a sign that said no public past this point oh shh we're not the public we're the media we're media we're media you know. <laughs> anyway um so um all right sound da, da, da. sorry i was reading there because there was somewhere i read or saw in a video somewhere um yeah, so it's close. according to local police, there's never been an officer killed on Nero's Road. So unless he was way out of his jurisdiction, you know, wouldn't worry about it. Be more concerned with the living police because it says apparently because there is a um, fire station up the road, probably about a mile from here. And then this is obviously it's some sort of county property, I would assume, because it's a sanitation department, whatever. Um, they said that, of course, this website was updated. I think it said 2019 around there. Um, I don't know if it's updated recently, it doesn't say, but, um, they, um, police patrol it, and I guess maybe before this sanitation building behind us, which we'll show you when we get out, we'll, we'll pan mm -hmm. over there so you can see it, um, was built, the kids used to come down here, because where we're at is like a dead end, it's like a dead end to the road, um, they and you'll that, see that in a second, yeah, too. and we'll, sh I'll, we'll show you that, too, um, it, uh, kids come out and party, and hang out and you know do what kids do um so they said in like on here it says it's patrolled pretty regularly so it says um the joking thing here it says if you really want to um that hey if you really want to find a phantom officer go check it out and it says take extra donuts just in case we didn't bring <laughs> extra donuts yeah we don't have but that. um so that's the thing now there was a in one of the videos I watched or somewhere else that I looked, it's not, oh no, actually, here it is. It's in the comments of this. I couldn't remember where I saw it. 
So this is a comment on that on the spooky Cincinnati or creepy Cincinnati website that was made in August of 2012 by a gentleman named Duncan. It says, yeah, the phantom cop isn't real, but the worker who fell from the bridge and broke his neck at the bottom of the hill is said to relive his fall every night. And yes, police patrol the spot regularly. Now the bridge that they're talking about, there is a bridge right over here. Mm -hmm. Like it's right there. So we're gonna go over there too and see. Um, now we drove, before we started recording this, we drove literally from end to end on Narrows Road. Yep. It dead ends here where we're stopped at right now. And then the other end of Narrows Road, it it kind of ends in Tebow's into a completely different road. That's that Richardson Road. Richardson Road, yes. So we, we've driven end to end for Narrows Road, and this is the only bridge on this road. So It has to be the bridge. If, if what he's saying, if what Duncan is saying is true in the comments on the intel that we've got, then it, it has to be the bridge that we're at right now, that, that incident took place. Yeah, there's another comment from May of 2015 on here saying that there was a state trooper killed similarly in fifth simul sim similarly there um in 1951 but it was in Boone County on 25 so yes. it wasn't even around it here it was a here. totally different county yep so so that's where we are so just to give you we actually have tried to we tried before this to go a couple other places and it it, it didn't work out. We yeah. tried Beverly Hills Supper Club, but um, a developer, and I knew they had, but I didn't know they had started construction. Um, a developer has bought the property where the Beverly Hills Supper Club incident happened. And they have actually, I don't know if they're doing residential or business up on the hill, but apparently from what we've been able to see tonight, they have actually started clearing the property already. They actually have... Um, it all blocked off. There's no trespassing, private property, signs all over the place. So yep. we didn't, we just sat in the parking lot. There's a medical building right at the bottom of the hill where it, the driveway goes up. So we sat down there. He's got some pictures that mm -hmm. he's going to post. He took a picture of the landmark um, marker. Yep. And the, the actual historical, like, this is what happened on this property. Um, I've got some pictures of that, and I got uh, cut just a couple of pictures of where they've blocked it off and, and made it inaccessible by anybody else. So as far as the photos that I've got with the uh, Beverly Hills Breakfast Club, photos will be shared to uh, my Instagram. There should be a link in the description below that will take you to my Instagram. Um, I'll figure that out when I go to post this video. Um, but there'll be uh, photos there and then there'll be another video that I'm going to do and post that will be touching on the uh, actual story and everything with the Beverly Hills Breakfast Club since we can't actually Supper go Club. up there. Supper Club, sorry. Um, since we can't actually go up there and investigate. Um, That's the one I know more about than this place. This was yeah. just a, we were, I was looking, we were looking on Creepy Cincinnati the other night and, um, just happened to see this and we're like, I'm like, Hey, that's only like 45 minutes away from the house. So he's like, let's go. And then we decided that we were going to do, we were going to, um, try to do Beverly Hills supper club. And then, Oh, for the other place we were going to try is the little low incinerator. Yep. Um, it's up on the hill with Davu between like Davu is, I don't know if anybody, if you know, locally Davu park is up on the hill in Covington between, and it's on the hill. One side is Covington. One side is Ludlow. And there's supposedly, an, I, I don't, there's paperwork in the back for that, but we'll mm -hmm. talk about where that later. But that one is, um, there was a, a body found there of a 25 year old who had been murdered. But other than that. And we do plan, we do plan on doing it, a, a full investigation there. Um, the park closed at nine. So yeah. we didn't even try to go up because we had some, we, we were running late. <laughs> We, so, he bought a new rig to hold his camera yep. with a mic, and it just took us longer to put that together. It's snowing, so it's a little slick. Yep. So we we we've tonight has has not gone as planned, but <laughs> hey, we're making it work. We're here. Yep. We so, made it here. So look forward for another video coming up for the uh, Beverly Hills Supper Club, and then there will be another video. Um, kind of going over the Ludlow Incinerator, yeah, and hopefully. Make it there. Fingers crossed, hopefully, uh, an investigation there as well. So um, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and, and get out of the car. 
and we're gonna take a look around and show you guys around the area that we're in. I have my, it's not fixed in a second. There it goes. Ghosty stuff. I've got my apps on my phone ready so that we can do that. Um, we might run something. I don't know. We've got a couple different things. Um, an SL, uh, this has got an SLS, a spirit box, Necrophonic, which is a spirit box, a free app that you can use. Mm -hmm. And then he had another app that he had me download that's got stuff on it too. So if, as long as we don't get cops coming. Yeah. Cops coming. Well, not yeah. the cops that we're looking for anyways. <laughs> right. So. Um, the, the 50s cop can show up. Yes. The, please. Um, please the, do. The ones that can arrest us and put us in jail. No. Not so much. Like we said earlier, it is snowing. So. Um, let's hope and pray that the snowflakes don't mess with my phone too much. So that is Narrows Road right there, if it'll focus for me. There we go. So this is where it dead ends. This is the Department of Sanitation building that we were talking about that's at the end of the road. Um, like, everywhere. Yeah, like we said before, a um, bunch of kids used to come down here and party and everything. Authorized personnel only, Narrows Road, Diversion Structure, Sanitation District. So... We're thinking it's probably some sort of water sanitation plant or something like that. But, as you can see, the road does completely dead end here. There's my car in the distance, um, and it just stops, and, and this is it. So, we're actually going to walk. The GPS map says that it ends back there behind the fence. Yes. So, and it doesn't even show this building. So, so we're going to walk over here. We uh, mentioned... Uh, where a uh, worker had fallen off of the bridge and broke his neck on his landing. And that it is said that he relives his fall every night. Um, and that is actually a really big drop. Yeah, there's still water running. There's still some water running down there, isn't there? Nice. This little flashlight does fine. But yeah, that is a... Big, big drop. I'd say maybe what, 10, 15 feet. Maybe more. Maybe more than that. And like I said before, this is the only bridge on Narrows Road. So if the legend holds to be true, this is where it happened. And Narrows Road continues up that way. Cool video going out. Yep. Just in case Mr. Uh, Mr. 50s Copper does happen to actually be real and try to stop us. You know, we can actually, hopefully, manage to catch that on tape. This light works, but this light is amazing, but it doesn't really do a good job as far as distance. No. And the snow's not exactly right. helping either, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking this is. Walk, yeah. down a little bit, so. walk down a little ways and yeah. kind of check it out.
apartment there. Yeah, true. Kind of a necessary feature. Oh. But I'm pretty sure that it's a, probably a, a pump house or sanitation pump. Sure. Oh, my light just died. Huh? Well, you did take it out of the package and not charge it. Yeah. So. That is true. So the flashing light on the back of the light means that the light is dying. Okay. We've so learned that. We know that now. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do, we showed you the bridge. We showed you that the road kind of. carry this so you can. Yeah. So we showed you the bridge. We're, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to try to drive out the road here in a second. So we showed you the bridge. We showed you that the road kind of dead ended here. Um, sanitation department so what we're gonna do now especially considering my light just died and I'd like to throw it on the charger for a couple of minutes is uh, especially it's probably after midnight now um, we're gonna go ahead and try to drive up and down a uh, narrow road here 1204. 1204 all right so we're gonna try to drive up and down this road here a little bit and just kind of see just kind of see what happens and then uh, when it gets a little bit closer to uh, fall boy uh time we'll come down that here wasn't and the, the time wasn't fall boy time the, t the time you're thinking was on a different for the thing. yeah but um oh the 120 to 140 yeah that was on a different one okay that well, was on the um 222 125 thing oh ah, okay the dead man's curve yeah dead man's curve is actually another place that we're going to uh go and investigate as well so I look forward to that one too. But uh, we're going to drive up and down this road a couple of times and see what happens. And then we're going to, once I get my light charged, we're going to come down here, back down to the bridge, and we're going to run the Necrophonic and see if we can get anything. Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, the Necrophonic is an app that you can download onto your phone. It's uh, absolutely free. Um, it, not sponsored. <laughs> It's actually a pretty cool little app. Um, I was a little skeptical about it at first, but uh, we actually got a couple of intelligent responses with it uh, when we were taking a look at Bobby Mackey's on the outside. Um, there it is. Yeah, right there. Necrophonic. It, it liter it, it's literally an app of an SB7 spirit box where if there's a spirit that wants to communicate with you, um, they can do so live through this app, and that's what the SB7 spirit box does as well. So, I just kind of heard like a hey. Mm -hmm. but, I just wanted to show what it, looked, yep. what it was like. Okay. We'll so, show, we'll show more later. I just wanted to show them. Yep. So, we'll, we'll do that here in just a few minutes. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to hand you over to her. Okay. And we're going to go for a drive. Hey there, Editor Rascal here. Just wanted to take a second to explain something. As you guys saw earlier with the exploration walk that we took down the trail a little bit ago, I had overlaid some music tracks for you guys to listen to and enjoy while we were exploring the trail. This is due to myself and Heather not really necessarily discussing anything of importance, more or less just chatting amongst ourselves as we explored. I'm going to do the same thing with the drive. The drive was decently lengthy. And again, we were just more or less chatting amongst ourselves, not really stating anything too much of importance. So I'm going to overlay some music for you guys to listen to and enjoy while you guys watch our little drive down the road. Unfortunately, we did not have a run in with the 50s police officer, but it was an interesting drive nonetheless, trying to control the car through all of that snow. And as you'll see here in just a little bit, as we were coming back to the dead end, that giant hill became more treacherous than we thought it would, and we slid down the entire hill. So enjoy, and we'll see you guys later.
searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't wanna be one of the nameless. I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me, I exist to write my own story. I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory. Yeah, don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring. I just want a life that is worth every day exploring. I my whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. Appreciate all that is vacant It's just for the taking If you make up your mind, you can take it I'm never complacent I would work in a mansion or basement, yeah There's no replacement for persistence It's a patience, yeah In this life, I wanna be soaring To feel sun inside when it's pouring And I'll fight till anxiety is boring I'm so sick of my mind's extortion My whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand and damn I feel like no one takes accountability, they want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the fucking hours it takes to get some power Don't be fucking sour, take a cold shower, scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder and fuck all the doubters, they're just yeah. fucking downers I swear to god they all let me down, I always fought just to wear the crown I'm pissed off at these fucking clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown
I get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad, I'm like, I might grab a bat, I don't know. My wrath, my blood boils over like, oh God, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes. You said some shit that I can't let go. So just stay tuned for the rest of the show. So have you ever felt betrayed? Switch is how you see things. Realize something needs change. Cause I know you got me fucked up. Let me show you what's up. Enough is enough I'll take a face full of pavement Just to make a statement I know there's no turning back Oh God, adrenaline wasted So mad I can taste it I know there's no turning back I'll do what it takes I ain't making mistakes like that I'll play it on your face Just to make you go take it back I'll lose my shit I go crazy when I'm mad like a big sled <laughs> that's why I went over to the left side of the road so that way I had plenty of room like I said there's no snow there Did you see those these piles here and it's here, all salt it's all salt so there's there's no snow here and like geniuses we didn't charge the light so we've got the flashlight that's you can't see him, but he is right there. No, you can see my finger either, but hey. <laughs> Here. There. Ah! <laughs> there he is. <laughs> so we'll spend a few minutes running their necrophonic and see if we can get some responses and uh, hopefully we can get out of here tonight. So we are back here. And we're going to spend a little bit of time with the necrophonic. See if we can get some sort of response. And uh, hopefully be able to get out of here because that is somewhat of a steep hill. We just slid all the way down it. So hopefully my little car can get us back up it. Yeah, like there's our footprints from earlier. We were just here 10 minutes ago. And the footprints are almost completely filled in already. Yep. You can see people's been down here and tagging, tagging the concrete. And all right, so we've got the necrophonic running. We'll see if we can get some answers. Is there anybody out here with us tonight?
Is there anybody out here willing to communicate with us? We were told that there was a man that fell off of this bridge and died. It's all like a no as I was finishing my question. I don't know. I can't make out anything. I mean, there's there's stuff, but I can't understand anything. Did somebody die here? What's your name? That was a clear as day hey. Is that a hey? That sounded like a hey to me. Who just said hey? Just a second ago, somebody said, hey, was that you? That, that was a, that was a quiet yes. Are you the one that perished here? Are you the one that fell off the bridge? Do you not want us here? You think we should leave? That was an I do. Yeah, yeah. I, I have chills. That that was a clear as day I do. Yep. Why do you want us to leave? <laughs> Who wants us to leave? That's definitely weird. Yep. What was you doing when you fell off the bridge? Not getting much. Got a couple of. That's falling, like you can see. See how that that little. Yeah. It's falling this way, like the hill's pushing. It. Do you like it when people come down here and tag your property like this?
I swear I heard yap. It sounded like maybe like a yap or like he was trying to say hell no. Who knows? That was weird. That was definitely weird. Train rumbles here. I don't know if you guys can hear that on the mic, but like there's a train close because we hear it rumbling up over the hill there. Yeah, just right over there. There's got to be a train track somewhere. I mean, it's close. Like I said, you can hear the rumble of it. That was kind of weird. That was kind of cool, though. It's, an, it's a neat little place, but with, you know, one possible death, not much other, not a very active place. Yeah, I turned that off. We'll reveal it, obviously. Yeah. You gotta, I, I feel like we got like a couple of maybe, not, not necessarily like intelligent responses, but we, we were, I mean, feel like we got a couple of something, but, yeah. and it, it's difficult to investigate outside, but. I don't know, it's a turn. Oh, yeah, it's it wants you to calibrate. Yeah, it's a turn it on and shake it, so it's turn it on and shaking it. I'm going right. to try the EMF detector. You can do just like simple EMF and just kind of, yeah, you can change like the different style. Yeah, that's the one with lights and stuff. I mean, it's not even, I mean, it's bouncing a little bit, but we are next to the, you can hear yeah. the hum of this. This is, this is a big problem why we. No. What you're hearing is is right there. You can't see it through the fence and the trees, but there's a big, like, box, no. electrical box. There. Yeah. And I think there, that's what we're hearing. There, yeah, there, there's a lot of electrical stuff here, so that could be causing the uh, EMF detector readings to be off, too. But. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's staying in the green. It's not going up anywhere. Hmm. So. Let's walk back over here one more time. I went down even when we walked closer. Well, no, it's staying at that yellow. Yeah. It started more towards the yellow now. But yeah, but I think that's yeah, just now the, that we're closer to that, yeah. yeah, that big box over there. Yep. Yep. That's what so, that is. Yep. So that's going to be. Over here, let me kind of stand here or you can walk over. I'm just going to walk closer to the fence over here. Just to prove that that's probably yeah. what it is. Yeah, there's one right there. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Huh. It's actually going down. That's... Huh. Like, there's less. It's lower now that we're closer to the box than what it was when we were standing on the side of the bridge. Yep. Huh. We're close to the power lines now. Yeah, we're like under, like right underneath the power lines. Yeah. So, of course, they say moving water attracts spirits, and there's moving water, so it, you know. Yeah. True. Very true. So that is a possibility. Yep.
That could be that could be a reason why we're uh, hearing a lot of voices and stuff too. What is that sound that knocking? I don't know, but every time it does it, the ghost lights up. Does it? Yeah, see? Oh, it's detecting, no? I don't know it was detecting voices. Like our voices. I don't know. Oh, that is weird. I haven't messed it. Oh, that's loud. Jesus, what was that? The multimeter? That's Hold loud. Hold on, let me turn that down just a little bit. Okay. I don't know what a multimeter is. So this is EMF. This is what we were just looking at. I don't know what this... We'll have to do some more research on this. And then the EV... It's basically... Everything at everything once. Everything at once. Okay. Yep. Because there's the EVP record. Motion detector. Yep. So you can set that down on a table. Mm -hmm. And if something messes with it, that'll go off. Yep. Okay. Alright. We'll go back out of that. Yep. It's first time messing with that app. I... So that one. So. Yeah. So we'll play around with uh, with that one some more and learn some more about it and and maybe you know use it in future investigations. And of oh, course, sure we will. as we go along, you know our equipment will get better and better. Our investigations will get better and better. We'll be able to get to bigger and better places. Um, like Bobby Mackey's, for example, they charge like six hundred dollars for a five hour investigation. So. I just got, no, I, got, I just put that, that's wet. I'm gonna, so I opened this ghost tube thing that I've got that works kind of, I turned my rotate on, so now it's being stupid. Um, but it's kind of like a, um, an ovulus. So there's 350 words. This is just detecting my voice and what's going on around us. But it will, like it says, listening here. And it's, Basically, so if there are any spirits around, they can manipulate it and find one of those 350 words to say. Um, when I opened it, um, right as we got to the back of the car here, it said don't. When he said something about Bobby Mackey's. Ooh. So, I don't know. But as you guys can see, it's not saying anything now. So, but it did say don't. Oh, I forgot to turn my sounds off. Okay, they're off now. <laughs> is there anyone here who wants to try to use this it's got words that you can find and uh, talk to us that was me well, I know that was you but yeah we're not it's not anything Since we moved further away from there, we're not getting anything. Yeah. So, we've got a couple other little, I mean, you know, I've got this, and then I've got the Ghost Tube SLS, the Necrophonic. We've got Randonautica, which we'll probably do some Randonauticas in our thing. And then the Ultimate Ghost Detector, that's the one that he was, that we were just using that has the EMF meter. And um, it's got that here, it's got, it's got to be noisy. The multimeter, it's got an EVP reporter, motion, EVP recorder, motion detection. EMF advanced and EMF simple. So, and then the multimeter, which you saw, was just pretty much everything. Yep. It's not doing it. I was playing. It probably sounds like I'm shouting because I'm right over top of the mic. So we're going to move over here. So you move it back over to me. Yeah, because I'm trying to get... <laughs> <sighs> anyway. Anyway. So yeah, I mean, so we have, you know, a few little appy things that we can do. And like he said, what we can get, you know, we'll get bigger and better and get different things. Actually, you know, we have plans on getting an actual EMF. We have plans on getting... Um, infrared cameras, infrared, night vision cameras. Night vision. I mean, and then like the smaller things that we'll probably get at first, you know, an SB, get an actual SB spirit box, um, rim pod, that yep. kind of stuff. But you got to start somewhere. So this is where we're starting. Of course. So one last look around. Cool little, cool little place. Cool little stories. Makes we, we makes for good. It just, whether they were intelligent or not, we couldn't tell. Right. Makes for good. Makes for a good bedtime story, regardless. So. Uh -huh. All right. So. 
<laughs> you keep dropping your hand warmer. <laughs> Okay. <coughs> so I think we're gonna go ahead and call it for the night yep. um, we need to try to get back home before the snow gets any worse than it already has um, take some of the salt and just have you I'll drive and you just pour the salt out in front of it right okay <laughs> <laughs> hey, that sounds good to me <laughs> I'll be in the warm car so we're gonna go ahead and end it here thank you for joining us um, obviously we're gonna do more um, more investigations and videos like this um, and now that does not mean that I'm not going to still post, um, uh, video game videos and stuff like that as well. Um, I have not been able to do that in a really, really long time. My stuff is not connected and the, uh, TV that I've been, uh, playing on is currently down at the moment. So, um, but definitely wanted to record these and post these as well to be able to share. So, um, if you Exactly. Something new. Something, something different. We, were, we are both interested in, which is actually how he and I kind of, one of the first things that kind of connected us when he and I met out where we weren't, um, I mentioned paranormal one night and he was just like, really? He's like, I have a whole Amazon wish list of paranormal equipment to do this. Yep. And I'm like, okay, cool. And he <laughs> just was like, okay. Like she's okay with this. Well, Yeah. <laughs> like I've actually been we, we were talking about this last night and kind of playing this last night and I've I've been excited it's not been what we expected but that's okay that happens there's always next we've, time we've got a whole like if you guys go to that um, uh, just even the, the, the creepy um, Cincinnati website there is a whole list of places within an hour or two of Cincinnati that um, have stories and have had known paranormal activity so there's um, a penitentiary up north that's known to be haunted that they use as a haunted attraction. Um, you've got Bobby Mackey's. Yeah. There is a big uh, building also here in Kentucky. I don't remember what it's called, but it was used as a uh, uh, bronchitis hospital. Tuberculosis. Tu tuberculosis that's hospital. Waverly Hills. And Waverly that's, Hills that's, Sanatorium. Yep. yep. That's another one that's. I'm done. That is the um, fifth time I'm, you have dropped. I'm just going to stay right there for now. Um, <laughs> That's the fifth time that she's dropped that. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, we've got big plans right now because, you know, we're just starting. We're, we're going to do some of these local places first. You know, we may or may not get something. But, you know, if anybody has watched paranormal videos before, you know that, you know, an investigation, an experienced investigation team can spend hours at some place and get 15 minutes worth of activity and that's it you know so i mean tonight obviously because it's cold cold and snowing a whole lot of time and it's getting kind of the roads are getting a little slick so we're gonna yeah you know but as it gets um to better weather and and stuff like that you know we're gonna i've got you know we're gonna investigate more of these places and even some of the places that aren't on that website that we know about like um i follow a lot of ghost tubers or, or whatever paranormal people on youtube so i mean who have been to some of these local places um guy i watch was just at there's a, a school in middletown which is just 45 minutes north of us um there's a couple like you like we said, a couple places in kentucky there's a couple in west virginia you know there's several places within just a couple hours here and um we plan on eventually obviously not tomorrow but you know <laughs> eventually we will you know, get to these places and, and do investigations. And by then we'll be a little more experienced and we'll have a little bit, you know, better equipment and just up from here. Yep. For sure. So if you guys did enjoy, um, this, please leave a like down below, uh, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your family, share it all over the interwebs. If you guys have any suggestions on places that you would like for us Definitely. to, um, investigate or go check out, especially if it's, uh, uh, local to us, please, 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 Cincinnati, please, please. Northern Kentucky area. Yep. Cincinnati, you know, Northern Kentucky area. Much right now, but please, please, please let us know. Leave a comment down below. Um, if you have any sort of suggestions on places that you would like to look at or like for us to look at, um, or if you're local and somebody who knows us and you want to join us, Hey, by all means, by all means, contact us. Yep. I mean, I'm sure my kids are, well, my oldest, son is also into this kind of stuff so i know eventually he will probably join us on an investigation at some point or another 
I know when we go to Bobby Mackey's, um, we're going to go first, just like it's only open Fridays and Saturdays. We're going to go like on a Friday or Saturday night just to hang out, check out the bar. We're not doing a proper investigation. And so I know my son wants to go with us on that. So he'll probably be on the bat or one where we go to Bobby Mackey's. So when we do actually get the money together and the time to do a proper investigation, we'll yep. make sure to have more people with us. Oh yeah. So I mean, not that you guys just don't love our smiling faces. But. Right. <laughs> So thank you again. Um, yep. Be looking forward to more content like this. And again, once I get my TV up and running, there'll be uh, video game content as well. So thank you again uh, for joining us. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye now. Bye.